Is it a car? Is it a motorcycle? Well, it really doesn't matter what it is. It's really cool. And we're, we're here with Ryan James. Why don't you tell us about this new product from a new company, Lit Motors? Yeah, so we are Lit Motors. We're a startup electric vehicle company out of San Francisco, California. And we're making the future of transportation. Uh, this right here is our flagship vehicle. It's currently codenamed C1. And uh, this is the world's first self-balancing electric vehicle. Uh, so it just has two wheels, uh, sort of visually looks like a, uh, an enclosed motorcycle, uh, but functionally it's much more like a two-wheeled car. We're using a pair of control moment gyroscopes that uh, will maintain the, uh, the tilt and the lean of the vehicle at all times. They're totally controlled by the vehicle. Uh, so you pull up to a red light and it stays upright. Uh, no wheels or stands or anything come out. Uh, as you're driving along, uh, driving is steering is totally drive by wire, so it's as simple as a car, as easy uh, to operate as a car. Steer right, turn right, steer left, turn left. Uh, the vehicle's smart enough to know if that means that you need to turn the front wheel a lot, or if that means that you need to lean the vehicle over. And then that same gyro system is actually powerful enough that even in a collision, the vehicle will stay upright and just slide sideways uh, like a four-wheeled car would. And speaking of collisions, I mean, that's the one thing about a motorcycle, right? You have no protection. With this, though, you have lots of protection built in. Right. So the gyro system is the biggest safety feature, and that's what enables uh, car-like safety. And we're then using the same sort of safety features that you expect in any uh, standard four-wheeled car. Uh, seat belts, multiple airbags, and a reinforced steel uh, unibody chassis. Another safety aspect of this is this will be all-wheel drive, right? It's two-wheel drive, so two-wheeled vehicle, that's all-wheel drive. Uh, so that, in conjunction with the gyro system, uh, means that you'll stay in control regardless of the road surface conditions. So, you know, even on uh, just a solid sheet of ice, the gyros work just as well. And that, combined with the all-wheel drive system, means the vehicle will handle great. Well, and handling, you know, that's one of the things that's really cool about this is that you're not not only not giving something up, you're gaining a lot of stuff. It, tell us about some of the performance specs. Uh, so it's going to get uh, the top speed will be 100 plus miles an hour, and it'll go up to about 200 miles per charge. So that's the uh, the same range as a Tesla Model S, uh, but about a quarter of the price. Uh, after tax incentives in in the U.S., this is going to be about 19,000 in most states. Uh, a little bit cheaper in in some other states. And uh, there's an onboard charger. So uh, charging is as easy as charging your phone. You just plug into any standard wall outlet, charges in about six hours, and then there will be higher voltage charging options available if you want even faster charging. Excellent. Well, it seems like uh, you've really hit all the spots, and I can see some really fun applications of marketing this, using it as a marketing vehicle, as well as a, an actual uh, a vehicle that maybe fleet would use. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is great for consumer use. This is great for uh, fleet use, for, uh, you know, car sharing programs, for uh, government, uh, for corporate campuses, college campuses. Um, you know, it, it really anywhere that you see a car being used, this would work great. And in California, of course, because it's considered a motorcycle, you get the, all the benefits of that, right? Yeah, that's very true. Uh, so that means you can use the HOV lane, uh, you can lane split, and uh, we actually modeled the width as we were designing this after a uh, Harley Davidson. Uh, so uh, you can still lane split on the freeway, save quite a bit of time in traffic that way. And one of the things that, uh, you know, we're here at the International CES, it's consumer electronics, and, and clearly a big part of why this works today, whereas it wouldn't have worked five years ago or maybe even a couple of years ago, is the electronics. And I assume there's a lot of connectivity associated with this car. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, that's what people really expect out of a car. Uh, one of the reasons why the Model S has been such a successful car is uh, what Tesla's been able to do with the connectivity of that large touchscreen and uh, other features like that. Uh, we can go actually even further because uh, with the drive-by-wire system and some of the other systems in the vehicle, uh, you can have quite a bit more control over the vehicle even remotely. Well, Ryan, I really appreciate your time, and I, I look forward. Maybe I can uh, see, check it out because you, this is being manufactured in San Francisco, right? Oh, yeah. We, yep. We're based out of San Francisco. We're setting up our factory right there uh, in the city or in the Bay Area, uh, keeping everything close to home. Excellent. Well, if you're doing the crash test locally, let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll check it out when you're doing it. Will do. Sounds great. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you.